Hey everybody, what's up? Metal World Peace was suspended for seven games by the NBA for his vicious elbow on James Harden. It was the right move for the NBA to make for a couple of reasons. First off, they didn't overreact to a fault based on Metal World Peace's past. Of course, the malice in the palace, the guy was suspended for 86 games. He's done things wrong in the past, really wrong in the past. But it doesn't make sense to assess the present thing that Metal World Peace did wrong by just solely looking at the past. It doesn't make sense. You do consider what he has done before, but you don't consider it solely. That's when you're gonna arrive at a wrong conclusion and blow things out of proportion. Throwing the elbow, he shouldn't have done it. He deserved to be suspended. Does he deserve to be suspended for life? No. If Kobe Bryant threw the exact same elbow without nearly the checkered past as an NBA player as Ron Artest or Metal World Peace, Nobody's saying he should be suspended for life. He should be suspended indefinitely. Nobody's saying that. That's my point. People are blowing it out of proportion what Metal World Peace did, specifically with the elbow, because of what he had done years ago. That's not the right way to look at things. The other thing is this. Don't play the what if game. All these people, well, what if James Harden was hurt severely? He wasn't. Well, what if I did this in real life in the street? I'd be in jail. Well, guess what? Metal World Peace wasn't in the street. He was in the Staples Center as a basketball player for the Lakers. Stop with the what ifs, all right? Let's deal with reality here. Let's not deal with your scenario at your job if you did this. Metal World Peace, as an NBA player doing this, it's not a crime, all right? It's a suspendable offense. And James Harden wasn't hurt severely. If he was, that would change things. The NBA looked at this and did consider Metal World Peace's past. That's why he got seven games. Kobe Bryant's not getting seven games for this. Look at some other suspensions this year. Kevin Love got only two games for stomping on Luis Scola's face. Two games. You think Metal World Peace would have only gotten two games for doing that? Of course not. Jason Smith bowled over Blake Griffin when he had a fast break dunk attempt. They didn't make a play on the ball, just knocked him over NFL linebacker style. You think Metal World Peace would have gotten two games for that? No. No. So the NBA considered Peace's past, but not to a fault. And they arrived at seven games. They didn't blow it out of proportion. They didn't overreact to a fault like a lot of people are doing based on what World Peace had done years ago when he was Ron Artest. You don't rely on the past solely. You don't. You're going to arrive at a conclusion that doesn't make any sense. But what do you guys think? Comment below, did the NBA get it right, suspending world peace for seven games? I'm Brian No. that's a no-brainer.